Yes, it's true. I'm finally departing with my stock of the Walt Disney Company. It pains me to do this, but I'm here to explain to you guys why I'm doing this. And this is not a decision that came lightly to me or something that I just decided to do out of nowhere. This is something that took a lot of a lot of thinking and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I did that. So first and foremost, I'd like to tell you guys about my exclusive stock market group. It is a Discord group with over 200 investors in there. These are the people that I tell everything to first. So as soon as I sell a stock, I tell them first, which I rarely ever sell stock. But when I'm buying stock, they are the people that know first and they know ahead of time before I'm even buying a stock. So if you want to be part of that group of people, if you want to talk stocks with me or the 200 plus investors that are in that group, go ahead and join my Discord group. The link is in the description below. So as you guys can see today, the Walt Disney Company is down a little bit and it's not because the stock is down today that I decided to sell, okay? You guys know that I'm a long-term investor and actually Disney is one of my favorite stocks in the entire stock market and I, I really, really, really admire this company but the stock price is at $148.70 a share I submitted my order to sell this stock at $149 so there's still a little bit of room to go but I believe that the stock will be hitting the $149 uh, price target for me in order for my sale to finally trigger so why did I decide of all stocks to sell my stock in the Walt Disney Company is it because of coronavirus and Disneyland and California Adventure still being shut down due to the regulations over there in California. Same with movie theaters and Disney not deciding to put their movies in movie theaters right now, thus losing them billions of dollars in revenue and income this year, which I mean has just been paramount. I mean, look, Disney's revenue fell 23% to 14.7 billion while the company reported a loss of $700 million instead of a profit of $777 million last year. The Walt Disney Company is clearly hurting right now. So is this the reason why I finally decided to sell? Did I say, you know what, Disney, I used to believe in you, but right now it's not the happiest place in the world. I don't wanna be part of the stock right now. What's going on with this stock? And actually it might surprise you guys to hear that even though Disney is suffering so much, that is not the reason why I'm selling the stock. And like I said, it really hurts me to sell this stock, but it's pretty much one of the only choices I have right now. So here's the reason I'm selling my stock in the Walt Disney Company. As some of you guys know, people that have been following me for a while or people that are in my Discord group, I'm also a real estate investor. And I recently found a good deal on a duplex that I'd like to purchase. Now this duplex is gonna run me about $336,400. And I'm putting a down payment of 20%. So if we find 20% of that, you guys can see it. it's $67,280. Now currently the amount of money that I have to go towards a down payment right now is around $50,000. So I have to find a way to make up for that $17,000. By the way, I'll be closing in around mid-January. And you guys are wondering, well, your name's the buy-in king, right? So you must make a lot of money or whatever. But you know, I, I still work my day job. I haven't like quit or anything. I'm, you know, I'm not maybe as wealthy as you guys think I am, but I do like to save my money and invest, which is why you guys see a, a, my stock market account of over $60,000 right there. So, but pretty much for my day job and my other ventures that I have that are actually making me income right now, like my rental and my online businesses, I believe that I can have around $9,000 by the time I have to close, meaning that I'll really only need to raise about $6,000. My position in the Walt Disney Company is worth around $7,300 as of right now. So this is my private portfolio that I share only with my Discord members. So this is what they see. Um, they have exclusive access to it. I don't share this with anyone else, but for the purpose of this video, you guys get to check it out and look at it. And if you guys want to join my Discord, this is something that you'll also be able to see as well. So as you guys can see, here's my Disney position. I have a total of 50 shares. Uh, my average cost per share has been $105.60 per share. Okay, I've only put in about $5,200 into this stock and it's currently worth around $7,400 uh, as of right now. Also, as you guys can see, my position on Disney is currently up about 40% or $2,000, which is actually one of the lowest earning stocks that I have in my portfolio uh, behind just Ulta Beauty. So as you guys can see, my total position in the Walt Disney Company is worth around $7,400, and I really only need $6,000 to make up for the amount of money that I'll need to put into the down payment for this duplex. So you're probably thinking, well, then you really don't need to sell all your stock in Disney, right? Because you have about $1,500 
$100 more than you really need. But the thing is that I like to be conservative and I don't like to, you know, just shoot exactly at what I think I'll need one and a half months from now you know i like to overshoot that way i know i have plenty and i'll even have some money left over because i don't like to meet it like right there i like to be conservative and not undershoot or meet it right there i like to overshoot that way i feel safe and i'm in a comfortable position from now until middle of january but actually i didn't sell all 50 shares of disney I'm only selling 49 shares and that's because like I told you guys I really really love the Walt Disney Company and I just hate to part with all of my shares of Disney so I'm only selling 49 shares which is equal to about $7,300 somewhere around there so that's how much capital I'll be raising from that sell of stock but I'll still have one Disney share left which makes me feel a little bit better knowing that I didn't depart with all of my shares of Disney because I've owned Disney since 2017 and I'd like to keep saying that I've never sold out of my Disney position but why is it that I chose Disney to sell rather than an Apple or a Facebook which you guys can see I'm up 148% on Apple or a snapchat which I'm up 228% on that or maybe an Arkimoto which I'm up 155% on that and the reason is if you guys take a look at this little chart that I made over here this shows the amount of capital which is this colored uh, bar down here the one that is not green I like to color code my stocks that way I know at quick glance what stock I'm looking at Facebook is a baby blue Disney is a purple and Apple is black and so on and so forth it just makes sense for me so the color that is not a green is the amount of capital that I've put into a stock and the green color is the amount of profit that I've made off of that stock and as you guys can see I've made a decent amount of Facebook stock Apple has more than doubled nearly tripled Ulta has done okay, Snapchat has more than tripled, LVMH I'm up about 60% on that, FUV has almost tripled as well, and Tesla is a very small position, it's only worth 500 bucks, so it's not worth me departing with it right now. Actually, here's a fun fact, so uh, back in 2019 I purchased another property and I ended up selling my Tesla stock that I had back then. I actually sold that for a loss because Tesla wasn't doing a whole lot, I held it for a year and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just buy back into Tesla. But guess what, I sold it at the absolute worst time, right before it ended up skyrocketing. Pretty much all I'm going to say is that if I was still holding Tesla today, I would be up 962% on my position when I sold it for a loss of 6%. So yeah, pace to be patient guys but I didn't sell Tesla because I gave up on it either I really needed to raise capital last year so that's why I sold it oh and guess what after I sold it turned out that I didn't even need the extra funds so that made me feel a whole lot better that's a joke I'm still hurting today but anyway you guys can see that Disney really hasn't made a whole lot of profit compared to the amount of money that I've put into this stock which is why it's easier for me to sell because I know that it hasn't grown a whole lot since I bought Disney stock so I know that if Disney has another quarter where they're just reporting another loss and it's not looking so great for the company or any sort of bad news this stock can easily crumble because right now it's trading at a lot higher than it's really producing in earnings and revenues. My hope with Disney stock is that maybe it comes back down to $120 or below so then I can start buying back into Disney and rebuild my position of 50 shares or more. And you guys are probably wondering why didn't you sell Ulta stock and some of Disney stock? Well guess what? I did sell Ulta stock. I sold 100% of my position in Ulta. I think I've made a decent return on it. I mean, it's it's not like jaw dropping, but I'm up about 25% on Ulta stock. I still believe in Ulta as a stock. It's just right now I need to be raising capital. And this is a, a stock that I'm okay with sacrificing in order for me to have a little bit of extra capital for me to sleep easy at night knowing that when it comes time to close on this duplex, I'm gonna have plenty enough cash, and I only had six shares of Ulta anyway, so it's not like it was a gigantic position for me, and it's only up 25%, you know, so it's, um, it's not a huge sacrifice for me, like I said, I still believe in Ulta as a company and on my Instagram and on my TikTok, I have a decent amount of videos talking about how much I love Ulta as a stock and their leadership with their CEO, Mary Dillon. I still believe that Ulta has a bright future ahead of them. So with that being said, the reason why I didn't sell Apple is because it just has so much profit going for it. Look at it. So current share price for Apple is $115 a share, right? And my average cost per share on Apple is $46. 
dollars per share if i sell my apple stock there's no way that i can re-enter at a price that's remotely close to 46 dollars a share it's just not gonna happen apple stock would have to drop over 50 percent for that to happen and like i always say anything's possible in the stock market but i'm more hopeful that disney can drop to around 120 dollars a share for me to buy back in again than i am for apple to drop to 46 dollars a share so there's my explanation on why I'm selling the Walt Disney Company. Like I said, this wasn't an easy decision for me to make. So if you're an owner in the Walt Disney Company, know that I still believe in it very much. And I wish I didn't have to sell Disney stock, but that's just how things go sometimes. And you know what? As an investor, Warren Buffett always says, don't get attached to a stock. And also as a Shark Tank legend, Kevin O'Leary says, don't cry for money because money doesn't cry for you. So you can't get attached to money, but I still support the Walt Disney Company with my one share but that's my explanation on why i'm selling the walt disney company if you guys want to know as soon as i'm selling a stock or as soon as i'm buying a stock be sure to join my exclusive discord group the link is in the description below guys like i said there's over 200 people in there i tell them everything i do so they already know about this move right now they already know that i sold ulta they know whenever i'm buying or selling anything guys they know what's going on in my investment life 24 7. thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video